uh, kind of look over the box. Uh, it didn't come this way. Our grandson figured it needed a few more air holes into it, so he gladly helped us out with that. Good enough. Thank you. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Don't forget to channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Watch our video. Bye. Welcome back to the channel. Today what we got, the people at Vibor actually reached out to us and sent us a burner. A two, a, like a two-eye camp burner. Uh, I guess they noticed we have pretty much everything in the house is v -board. We have the v chicken plugger, we have the uh, vacuum, vacuum sealer, vacuum, vacuum chamber. Uh, we have a bunch of stuff that's made by the v brand. And we also have the uh, dehydrator, the big, the big commercial dehydrator made from v -board. But anyway, they reached out and they wanted to send us another v product. Alright guys, if you see this, uh, kind of look over the box. Uh, it didn't come this way. Our grandson figured it needed a few more air holes into it. So he gladly helped us out with that. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it. We'll do an open box and what? We'll actually cook on this thing now if you want, you know? Try it out, because we have a gas ball. So we'll open it. Hopefully it won't take a whole lot to put together, we'll see. All right. We'll burn that. We have an instruction book. It's called an outdoor gas stove. It's a two burner. It's kind of it's kind of like a grill. Uh, it is, but it ain't. So I thought it was really cool. It's really nice of them sent it to us to do a video on. Let's see here. Okay, right out of the box we have, I guess, the main burner. We'll burn that. And it holds the legs on. It's a pretty simple little design here. We'll go ahead and do that. And the, the gas line is stuck into it here. So that, that out. Here's the gas line for it. Got the regulator and everything built off that. Okay, here's the knobs for the eyes. And this is the pack. I don't know what that is. These must be the legs. So, I don't think it's going to be too hard to put together. Just kind of just throw the legs on and stuff. We'll see. Yep, this is the legs. Okay. I probably have to move this table in there, but I don't know. This thing is made. I'm going to tell you, man, this, this thing is not not flimsy by any means. This thing's really heavy duty. It's real thick. The steel on it is the legs and the body of this is just that's really really thick. Okay. You basically unscrew that. Enough for this quick to fit in here. Okay, then just tighten it down. Flip it over and put the other two on it. I don't, I don't think so. It'll be too hard to put together. I'll set it up here on the table. It should sit there. If not, we'll find it somewhere down the road. Okay. And you unscrew these just enough for the leg to pass in because it's really tight tolerance in there. Right in. Just tighten it up. 
All right, guys, let me get this uh, other leg on here, and I'll be right back. All right, like I said, it come with the gas line. We'll burn that. And like I said, it has the has the regular bill into it. And it's a good stainless braided hose, gas line. Nice, it's a nice line. Most of them you just get the black rubber line, so I mean, that makes it worth it right there. So, hold on, I got me an adjustable wrench, all I got. So, let's see if I can turn it for you to see it. Look on the back of it. You have like a little cap on here. Just thread your gas line right onto it right there. Tighten it up. Tighten up on the back. I really am. I mean, I really am impressed with the build quality of this thing. It's real thick. It's not flimsy like you would think. Like most of them. They got one that they sell at, at Walmart. And it's it feels real. It just feels flimsy to me for some reason. This thing right here is like really, really thick. And the only other part left on it is right here, which I'm pretty sure I know what it is. We'll see. I think it's a, kind of a backsplash type thing for it. If I can get it out. We'll burn that. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, it's actually, actually it's a, look at that, it's a side and all right there. It's pretty cool. It goes, let's see, let me, let me turn this around so you can see how it goes. It actually just slips right on there, like that. Okay. Put that one on. Put this one on. This one, this one, this one. Put that's actually pretty cool and I mean that's it that's all you do to it now you gotta just hook your gas stove to it and I guess cook on it so oh yeah we gotta put the knobs on right here's the knob they come with it we'll burn it we'll burn it Okay. Anyway, guys, that's it. I mean, it's it's that simple to put together. And as I was saying, this thing is the build quality on this thing is amazing. It really is. I mean, it's there's nothing thin or flimsy about it. There's nothing that's there's nothing that's so far. I mean, there's nothing I could say is a down. You know, like a a negative part of it, I guess, as far as the build quality goes. So, tighten them legs up a little bit more. But I guess the test is, put we'll the gas ball to it and we'll cook our food tonight. We'll have to do it outside on the porch. It's kind of dark, so it'll be kind of hard to see really good. But I mean, we'll cook on it. We'll see what it does. Anyway, we're gonna get this thing set. I gotta get the tank hooked to it. We'll set it on the porch and uh, we'll get the tank hooked to it and we'll fire it up and we'll see exactly what it does. All right, I swiped the bottle off our grill over there. So we'll hook it to it. This gives you plenty of a line to get it away from the heat, too. That's good. Put it over here. Let's fire it up and see what it does. Got the, it, it says to use a, a lighter, you know, one of the reach lighters, whatever, like this right here. Because we have one. So just light it and turn the gas on. The flames are on. Mm-hmm. That'd be good for canning outside too. Oh yeah, the pressure pressure canner. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. Alright guys, I'm gonna turn it off. As you can see it works good, but this ain't the end of the video. We're gonna cook our food on it.
So we're gonna get our food and be right back. Okay, we're gonna start out by um, marinating our steaks. We got a New York strip here and we got a porterhouse here. We're gonna make steak and shrimp tonight. And yes, we did wash our hands. This one's mine. Lots of meat. And I like to take the um, tenderizer here and to tenderize it up a little bit. I said I think that one should be good. Yeah. The baby's not here tonight, so we're gonna have steak and shrimp. Let me beat my meat a minute. You gotta quit playing with it. You gotta quit playing with it. You gotta. You gotta give it a little bit more. Okay. I need the pan. <laughs> a little splattering, but it's good. <laughs> These are the new addition to my Pioneer set. So we went and got two of these tonight. Yeah. Two of them. They probably both fit in one. Gonna do them separate? Uh. No, I mean, they're both fitting one, we'll put them both in one. Okay. Yeah, they're fitting. Yep. Um. All right. This is garlic, herb, and black pepper, and sea salt. And it smells really good. Mm -hmm. We also like to put this here. It's Allegro, Allegro Original Marinade Mix right here. You can buy this at pretty much anywhere. You can buy Walmart, Ingles, well, any grocery store really sells it. It's like two bucks a bottle. And this stuff right here is really, really, really good. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's really, really good. Yeah. And, but this stuff right here is uh, it's the garlic and herb. But this one, we always use garlic and herb on everything. But this has black pepper and sea salt mixed in. It's the first time we've seen this combination, so we're going to try it. It smells really, really good. Yes, it does. Can put a little bit more or is that good? Sure. Lay it to it. We got the potatoes all diced up. We're gonna use the same kind of seasoning on the potatoes. That's what that looks like. I don't know if you can see that or not, but the seasoning all over them. Looks pretty good. Let's dump the potatoes in there. How's the steak kind of marinating? We'll flip those in just a minute into that marinating sauce. And then we'll dump it out before we put them out here on the burner. We got some shrimp to go with our steaks. Put them all in there. Sure. My well, that is approximately two pounds. So it's got 60 to 80 shrimp in there. So that's a two pound bag of shrimp. All right. We're gonna do the same deal with that. I'm gonna put some kind of little bit of a seasoning on with this stuff here, same, same kind of seasoning. We've never tried that, so we'll see. Alrighty guys, just so you know, this water that we're using right here, this is a store-bought jug. We did buy the water that was originally in here, but the water that's in here now is the water we caught out of our homemade uh, filter we made. I'll leave a link to that down there where you can watch it, how to make your own water filter. That's rain water run through our water filter. We always save our jugs. Yeah, we save our jugs. The trick to shrimp, cooked or not, with seasoning in it, is you got you have to add enough butter to it 
to give yourself a cardiac arrest. And Chris does. Yeah, I like I like lots and lots and lots of butter in mine. I like that right there. Hey guys, we got our shrimp on here. Now you see we got our steaks on here, so I'm gonna fire this thing up. I'm getting hungry. A little piece off of it, try it. And try it? Yeah. That's good and tender. That's pretty good, isn't it? Mm-hmm. But very tender, very tender. Oh yeah. That's good. Howdy guys, as you can see it. It does what it's supposed to. It's actually pretty good. Um, I do recommend that thing. We'll leave links to everything down in the description. It is the Bebor brand. And it's, like I said, you can buy them at stores and stuff like that. But this thing right here is way, the quality of it feels way better, way, way thicker. It just feels much more you know, well built. More sturdier. Yeah, it feels, it, it definitely feels a lot sturdier than the ones you said, like, like in Walmart and stuff like that. Because they have them too, but they just don't feel like that. That thing right there is built like a tank. But anyway, guys. We'll leave uh, links to everything down in the description. If you ain't done so yet, please hit that like and subscribe button down the bottom. And uh, we will catch you on the next one.